level two waltz. Today we went over a basic weave and a closed impetus. Yes. So we're going to start out the, the basic weave first. We're going to do reverse turn. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're facing down a wall right now. We're going to do quarter turn to the left. One, two, three. Face diagonal center. The knees go back, forward, side, back, back, side, forward, together, and finish it with a reverse turn. Natural turn. Natural turn. So really what we're doing here, we did a reverse turn at the beginning. So really what we're doing is we're doing a quarter turn to the left. Knees are stepping backwards, side, and positioning us outside partner. Notice how we've rotated here so that I'm outside partner. I can take this one, one, two between his feet, three to the side, but notice that I'm still outside partner. And we're just going to do a natural turn here, but the first step is outside partner. The timing is exactly the same, your rise and fall is exactly the same. So again, full speed, one, two. Two, two is elongated, but allows us to turn and rise and step back. As far as you rotate, you want to inject something back. If I rotate as far as here, this is my back step. But you roughly want to go straight here, going toward back diagonal center. <laughs> step back, side, together. Roughly, pull through again. One, two. Three, one, two, three. The only comment I have is that leaders and followers, you should both be bringing your feet together on that long two where you're rising up. That's going to help you maintain your balance. If I leave a leg hanging out here, then I'm going to fall to where that leg is. What I want to do is be balanced and have control so we can step out in whatever direction we want to when we want to, instead of being drugged down by whatever limb is, is hanging out. So once again, Two, 